Now to the security scare that forced an evacuation at JFK Airport today. It came as just more problems piled up for already frustrated travelers on one of the busiest travel weekends of the year. CBS 2's Kevin Rincon has more from JFK. We're seeing fewer delays and cancellations on the arrivals and departures board compared to recent days. But here at JFK, that was not the case for about an hour this morning. That's because Terminal 4 was evacuated. People lined the sidewalk outside as the bomb squad went in to check on a suspicious package. Port Authority police say it turned out to be an unattended bag with a household product containing an explosive component detected by a bomb sniffing dog. When the alarm went off in the Terminal 1, no one moved. Like, no, no one did anything. I was just quite concerned. I didn't know what was going on. I wanted to know. The roads to the airport were also shut down as the investigation was underway. They kept this man from picking up his family, among them a cancer patient traveling from Eastern Europe. I waiting in the out inside more than an hour, but she's sitting inside I don't know how long. Even though there have been fewer issues, some travelers still found themselves stuck. Claudio Sandoval left California hoping to meet his family in Dublin, but had his flight delayed at Newark by at least a day. Family dream vacation who has what turns out into a nightmare right now. For those with flights, they encountered long lines like these, and the travel headaches have been ongoing for months now. I don't know why the airlines don't have enough personnel or staff or what the reason is, or there was a strike as well, and so there's so many factors. Benjamin Howell, he was at Newark trying to help his friend Rebecca Weiland get home to Germany after her original flight got canceled. I'm a student, and I have my exams in two days, three days. We were hoping just to find a way uh, to get her back. Try to call them on the hotline, you don't get through. Nothing. Frustrating. It's frustrating. Heading into the weekend, the airline industry put blame on the Federal Aviation Administration, saying it was not doing a good enough job with staffing at air traffic control, which has led to travel restrictions for things like bad weather when there isn't any. For its part, the FAA responded, saying the airline industry needs to do better after receiving $54 billion in pandemic relief money. At JFK Airport, Kevin Rincon, CBS 2 News.